Sam Aberdeen here to teach you about EMS and how to use an EMS device. EMS stands for electronic muscle stimulation. EMS is commonly used by physical therapists in post-surgical or post-injury situations to help rehabilitate a muscle. EMS works by contracting and relaxing a muscle, biologically allowing oxygen nutrients to get into the muscle and expelling that lactic acid. To set up your TENS unit or your EMS unit, the first thing you're going to do is plug in your batteries. Once your batteries are in place, you can turn on your device and set your settings. In a post-injury situation, you're going to want to have more conservative settings than aggressive settings. You want baby steps to recovery. So in doing so, you're going to adjust your frequency all the way up. Your frequency is denoted by an HZ. Next, you're going to adjust your pulse width all the way up, and your pulse width is denoted by a little US. You're going to set your device to normal mode. Sometimes it's called constant mode. And you're going to set your treatment timer. Treatment timer should be set to anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. You don't want to go too, too long because just like in the gym, you can exhaust or fatigue a muscle. Especially after a post-surgical situation or post-injury set, set, setting, you want baby steps to recovery like I mentioned, so you can use it for 20 minutes, two to three times a day. Once all your settings are set up on the interior, you can close your device, turn off your device, your settings will be memorized, and you can now plug in your lead wires, like so. Your lead wires then plug in to your electrodes. The pigtails go into the pins, and then your electrodes can be placed on the body. Typically, they're placed right on the treatment site of the injury or on the muscle you're trying to treat. Two things to keep in mind with your electrodes is make sure they're not touching and make sure they're not too far spread apart. If they're too far spread apart, you'll dilute your current. Always try to use both channels in operating your EMS device. That means four pads on the body at once. Once all four pads are in place, you can turn your device back on and you can now set your intensity. On this particular EMS device, because it's a true digital device, all your intensity and setting knobs are be behind the door. Other EMS devices have intensity dials at the tops of the device. Your intensity should set, be set to an aggressive, strong level, but not too strong. After about 20 minutes, your body will adjust to it, and you can turn your intensity up from there. Do note, your EMS device has multiple settings. It's got 11 different modes, such as myorelaxation, strengthening, tonify, muscle relaxation, improvement of range of motion. The EMS device, you should try each of those modes independently of the next so that your body gets a feel for the stimulation and or type of goals you have in using your EMS device. Likewise, there's other settings within your EMS device that can be explored as well, but the main thing to keep in mind is to, is to start your body in a starter setting and then progress and experiment from there. The EMS is an all-around muscle rehabilitation system. You can use it for muscle re recovery, muscle stimulation, strengthening, or toning. If you're an athlete or have recently suffered from an injury, an EMS is a must-have.